This is Perfect Harvest MLP Studios. Hello, every pony! The first time that Perfect Harvest has actually made appearance on his own channel in 2024. Yes, hope you're all well. If you've been following me on Instagram recently, you'll have seen that I've posted a lot of videos about how toy shops, particularly in the UK, because that's where I'm from, um, are lacking in new or basically interesting and different MLP toys. And I, on my lunch break today at work, I popped into the entertainer that's in the town where my office is, and they had so much more interesting stuff there. I mean, they had old MLP movie Guardians of Harmony, the one that they had I'm not particularly interested in, but they had the new Fashion Squad Equestria Girls minis. I mean, I cannot remember the last time I saw Equestria Girls in shops, but they also had some MLP G5 Design Your Own Squishies. So, I had to buy one. I mean, there's only two that they're doing, Sunny and Izzy, and because out of the two, I think Izzy is my favorite, I had to get it. Now, when I first picked up this package, I thought to myself, is this a fakie? Because, it doesn't have the same sort of packaging quality as other G5 packaging that we've had in the past. It feels like those G3.5 slash G4 rip-offs that you get in Poundland. But uh, anyway, on the front of the box, it's got Izzy, Sunny and Zip, even though you can't get one of Zip. And it says, decorate your own squishy. It's got a picture of Sunny on the side nothing on the right side and on the back it just shows you the sheet of stickers that you get and what you can do with the squishies and uh, sad onion there hasbro put their name to this so hasbro buy our toys and um yeah nothing else really and um yeah you can see that uh, what, what i mean with the packaging quality the box is ripped in several places and I thought they were getting rid of the single-use plastic packaging but uh, apparently not. So here are all the stickers and actually they've got jewels as well. For a minute I thought they were bump-ons or braille or something but that's quite interesting. Here are all the stickers that you can put on the ponies. For some reason there's a thing that says zip there um, which would be useful but uh, for some reason they've given names for Sunny and Zip but not Izzy. Oh, there's Izzy. There we are. But yeah, and you've got all the cutie marks and smiles and the My Little Pony logos and that. Um, and then you also have some sort of pen. Is it a glitter pen? I, I'm not even going to attempt to use that, uh, just in case I get it horribly wrong. And then here is the Pony Squishy herself. I'm a, it's a little bit of a cop-out, I think, that they didn't paint on the eyes. Actually, God, that is actually really bad quality. Look at those seams. Flipping hell, that is... Yeah, and the seam doesn't even go straight down the middle all the way. It go, sort of goes off to one side as it gets further down her legs. But, uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to attempt now to uh, put eyes on her. So, see you in a minute. Right. Um, these just... Oh. Hang on a minute. I swear I put both the eye stickers on. I've no idea where her right eye has gone. And, yeah, that's... Yeah, as you can see, this is not a great set. I've literally just put her right cutie mark on and that has disappeared somewhere. Um, yeah, I don't know, I can demonstrate it with this this one. They're too big for a start. Um, and I mean, the eye ones, hmm. actually, yeah, they're, they're too big as well. But also, they really don't cling to the squishies. You really want some glue for that, I mean, yeah. That's going on to her tail. This this eye is just... Yeah, that's... Mm. 
not good. <laughs> I don't. I think this has got to be the first official MLP toy review where it's actually not been a good product. I mean, I don't. I don't know what this. Um... Oh, oh! I think I found one of the. Uh... Oh yeah, there's the other sticker. Um, it was on top of the pen. But I still cannot find those other stickers. I mean, if nothing else, you know, it's just a stress ball in the shape of his E. I would have much preferred it if they had actually printed on her eyes. Um, but, yeah, it's not the best quality. As you can see, the moulding is... I mean, I've shown off the marshmallows made by Basic Fun from G4 on this channel, and they are so much better quality. I mean, yes, they're heavily stylized, but, you know, even... I don't know if there's any name on here other than Hasbro's that uh, we can blame for this. Um, Element d'emballage. Um, let me just go and translate that. Hang on a minute. So apparently, Element d'emballage just means packaging elements. Uh, there's got to be. Ah, here we go. RMS International Group, United Kingdom and Europe. Um, yeah, sorry guys, but you make them look so much better than the actual products. I mean, yeah, I mean, they've even got sort of separate legs there instead of just fully molded. I mean, I, I, you know, because they're squishies, they would probably have to be fully molded. But the eye stickers look so much better, the molding, and, you know, there's no white lines around the eyes. So, yeah, you just make it look so much easier, don't you guys? But, um... Anyway, that's been my terrible review of what could have been potentially a really good product. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry, I'm going to continue my rant because uh, I've just remembered. I bought two things from the entertainer today. I bought this and I also bought this Hot Wheels car. Have a guess which one was the more expensive. That's right. This was the more expensive. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this one, this one's completely die-cast metal. Really nice, you know, so... Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, Izzy. I'll still use it as a stress ball, but, um... Yeah, not as much as the um, marshmallows, which are far nicer. And I think that's a reason why there's so little MLP stuff that's new in the shops. Um, because if that's what Hasbro are doing these days, then, um, yeah. Anyway, sorry for the rant. Um, if you did like this video, and if you could find something good about it, then please do go ahead and like, comment if you fancy, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you soon in the next video. Cheers, guys. Take care. And you'll open up your window and you'll suddenly find that a peanut has knocked on your door. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. But if you understand this, then you're mad. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. And the singing is also quite bad.